Welcome back to Just Between Us. It's time for our local news update. <laughs> wow. I hope the squirrels stay safe. <laughs> This week we're gonna get down and dirty. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a, a Gabe Dunn dating bucket list, but okay. we each get to add to it. I get to add as well who I would like to see you date in the coming year. Okay, because here's the thing. I, and I do say this on the new guys because I feel like my other podcast, because I feel like people just don't think that, they don't take me seriously. Sarah Marshall and I are dating. <laughs> like, Is she your girlfriend? You ask her. Have you asked her? I have not. But we, she, we're like, we're dating. We're seeing each other. We're dating. She's visited me multiple times. Who doesn't believe you? We talk all the time. Like, okay, I said it on the new guys. And then I was like, how come people don't realize like that she came out as queer and then we started hanging out all the time. And then uh, River was like, nothing that you've posted has given this romantic. romantic. Except I'd made a whole birthday post for her. I guess I made a birthday post for Drew. But like. It's just funny. Oh, and then the birthday post for Drew, someone was like, I really can't tell if this is a partner or a friend, but either way, and I texted to Drew and I wrote the same. You didn't make me a birthday post. No, not this past year. Anywho, okay, so that's, okay. So then I- I did it, on, that's not true. I did it on JBU. I did a whole birthday post for you on JBU. With multiple photos? I think so. I think so. We'll look back. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So I would like, here's a, a dating bucket list for you. I would like Sarah Marshall to be your official girlfriend. Okay. And um, for half of her audience to now listen to our <laughs> podcast. It's so funny. On the show, I do mention dating someone in Portland. I bring up the name Sarah, but I don't think people put it together. Well, now you know. They're not detectives. What I did was chase her for two years. <laughs> what I did was have no, like, information to suggest she was anything but straight. Right. I mean, she famously would say on earlier episodes of Me Wrong About that she was straight. I know. And then I said, I don't think so. And you can tell other people their sexualities. <laughs> okay, what, what, what are you going to add to your list? A redhead? Just a general, <laughs> just in general? I thought we were naming names. Oh, no. I mean, you could name a type of person. Like, would you, what, would you want to date like, um, like um, a scientist? Well, you oh, said you know I should date a cinematographer. Yes. Oh, please. Yes. Date a cinematographer, editor, and then we can make sketches again. I should date a sound person. Yeah. You got to date. You got to basically date a whole film crew. I wish. And then we could make stuff. Yeah. Also, you know what is so useful to date? What? A doctor. Yes, I know. Not money-wise. I mean, no. money, whatever. Money, nice. But, but like when you have a rash, when like you, your belly hurts. It's, like, so useful to have a doctor that you could call. Okay, but do you think that the doctor gets annoyed about that? Sure. Or, you, you know, you know, you don't even need to date a doctor. You need to date a son or daughter of a doctor. I got prescribed for my UTI like that. Okay, but you don't want to be, like, that's so funny that you were, like, telling your partner's dad that you have a UTI. Yeah. And I'd never had one before, but I was like, I think that's what it is. I knew about that, right? Yeah, you were yeah. like in pain. Yeah. I was like, oh, and I was like, I just kept having to pee. It was yeah. so weird. Yeah. But then called it in that night, right to CBS. And that's what doctors should be doing. Yeah. They should be prescribing, prescribing over the unseen. phone. Absolutely. <laughs> sight unseen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For that measure, you could just date a pharmacist. They'll just hand it to you. No, they can't. They can't. But the pharmacists would be good at when you're like, hey, can I mix these things? They would be like, yeah. Yeah, or you no. You die. There's a, there's a clean murder. Not really, because it would be like, this person was dating a pharmacist. They should have known sure. not to have done this. Right. Seems like negligence. <laughs> I would like to date that TikTok girl that I like. Oh, yeah. What's going on with that? Caroline? Yeah. She said uh, that she she hasn't forgot. She messaged me that she hasn't forgotten and that she'll follow up with me in the new year. And and this is for dates or for friendship? Unclear. I said, here's the thing with women, mm -hmm. is that I to very explicitly say, I would like to take you on a date. And they go, aw. And then they like hang out with me. And I'm like, is it a date? If you've said date, then I think you're allowed to assume it's a date. Right? But sometimes yeah. they're just like, aw, what a, what a little soft little boy who's just like a funny little guy did you say date to her 
I said I talked about her endlessly on the podcast. I mean, this is already what, they, what we call this is sort of a Sarah Marshall. <laughs> what we call this is sort of talk about it for a couple of years. Yeah. They think you're joking, uh-huh. then they think you're serious, and then you're together. Lovely. Yeah. Would you want to date somebody with a kid? Because then you could hang out with a kid. Hmm. I would like to date somebody that has a twin sister who has a kid. You want to date someone with a an, with an niece or nephew. Yeah, but only if their their sibling is a twin. Why? Because then the kid will kind of be some of their DNA without us really having to do anything. Well, it would always be their DNA, you know. No, 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 because twins have identical twins yeah, are like the same DNA. Si- siblings still share a lot of no, DNA. No, 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 no. Though that's not enough. No, twins. Okay. You want to date a twin, a childless twin with a sister, sister who has who has a, a kid. kid. All right. Yeah. So if that's you. <laughs> that's you. Please call 917. <laughs> what else would be good for you? You know what's great? Is that so? Alex is really short. Sarah is six one. Mm-hmm. So we were at my house, and I was hopping in my in my closet, and she was laying down. To be fair, and then I was like, came out of my closet, and I was like, "Can you get my shoes?" <laughs> and she was like, Ugh. "She did it. She got up." Because I was like, "Let me ask her rather than grab a stool." So I was like, "Can you get my shoes?" So she went up and she got them, no problem. Okay, so we want to add another tall person into the I rotation. I think so, yeah. A local tall person. A local tall to person. To help with your daily needs. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, I think it would be smart for you to to um, date somebody who has a lot of airline miles. Oh. <laughs> and, like, maybe even also has that, like, that pass where the, the friend flies for free. What? I think there's, like, something you can have. Stewardess? like... No, like where like it's like your Southwest pass, and then you fly. Your person flies for free. I might have made this up, but if I, I go under the seat like in a kennel, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that could be cool to date like a, a really big traveler who who has a lot of miles. I would love to date a pilot. I would be nervous every day though. Would you? Yeah, I would be nervous every flight. I'd be like, "Are you? Did, did you land? <laughs> Are you up in the air now?" That's so distracting. I'm just texting them. Are you flying right now? Are you flying right now? Are you flying right now? Pilots are not allowed to text mid-flight, are they? If it's on autopilot, why not? Well, I can think of a few (laughs) reasons why not. I want to go back to dating a couple. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I would like to be taken care of and then go home. (laughs) Like they have a nice house, king bed. King bed, big house, and they have money, and maybe they like, Take me out to nice dinners and stuff. That's nice. And I don't have to be involved in their drama. Right. I you're like you're leave. like the fun partner. Mm-hmm. And then I go home. Who should I date next year? <laughs>